Well, we went drag racing last week. Yes, drag racing with golf carts. And, you know, I thought I, I, thought I should make you guys a, a small video to kind of show y'all what went down, how much fun we had, some of the drama that happened. We had a great time. We got to meet a bunch of awesome people. There were a little bumps in the road, but everything kind of worked out. We learned a lot from this and we really enjoyed this. Getting to meet a bunch of new people, especially from the page and getting to really kind of, you know, dabble into some of the drag racing stuff in golf carts. So, you know, the best thing to do, what is that on my shirt? Oh yeah, looks like I got something on me. Anyway, the best thing to do is just to kind of show y'all what happened and then we will go from there. So let's get into this. First thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to start at the beginning. So just about everybody knows that I'm from Houston, Texas. Now guys, when I go to Savannah, I normally drive. This time I flew. I will say flying two hours versus 15 hours of driving was really nice. Although the flight was not this smooth, in fact, it was horrible, it was bumpy, it was nasty the whole way because of weather, and your boy is not really a good flyer anyway, so yeah, I was glad to get there and get working on stuff. So Streetcar Bragging Rights was a car show and a drag race. Now we were lucky enough we got some of Travis's rides up and running that he's acquired over the years, and we had to make two trips. Now it's a two hour trip there and a two hour trip back. so. We loaded up his Continental and his Rat Rod, and then I drove the C10 and Steven drove the cab over, which, you know, going there and back was a long trip. And here, Steven snuck into a picture. That guy is crazy. We did have to turn around and make a second trip. We had to go back to Guyton and pick up golf carts on the second trip. You know, we couldn't forget the 4G's cart and we took the four-wheel drive cart to race. We did get everything there and Barry Hall with Cart King brought out his Bel Air. It was a pretty sick time. We did have all the big girls on display. Everybody was rocking the big carts. This was pretty cool to see all of these carts in one spot. Pretty awesome. Steven, of course, was rocking the 4G's cart and having a blast. It was a pretty good time. So the week went really fast. I flew in on a Tuesday. We got a Wednesday, we worked on vehicles, we worked on golf carts, trying to get everything ready to go. Thursday, we load up. Now, like I said, we made two trips. We went from Guyton, Georgia, up to Augusta, back, and then back again. We get there Thursday night, and we get everything unloaded. Everybody's kind of starting to show up. And we pretty much just watched all the uh, test and tune in a small tire shootout that night, which was awesome. Really fast cars. And we just kind of call it a night that night. Uh, next day, it's race day, okay? Everybody's up. Everybody's at the track. We're testing, we're tuning, we're doing car show stuff. Everybody's trying to get prepped. Now, take this into consideration. Just about everybody there is rocking an Avias 5K AC kit. Uh, different battery setups. Waylon shows up with a 72 volt bolt battery and he has a CPIX controller, which is different than an AC motor controller. The crazy thing is a lot of these carts were running pretty close to each other. Uh, we pretty much knew it was gonna have to come down to who's gonna tree who. The first two up, we were testing and tuning. Now guys, we didn't have anybody to really tell how fast our carts were because we didn't have any other carts that we thought would be fast enough to run against, you know, to test and tune at the house. So nobody really knew what they had until we got to the track. Now, they're doing test and tune and they're doing all the other stuff for these big cars and we're supposed to have our time to go test and tune on the track. 
we didn't get to do that. And I'll explain that more here in just a minute. So what do we do? Being golf carts modified and the rest of every rest of our group, we said, screw it. We're in the back of the parking lot and we're making test hits back there on the asphalt. And I mean, I think we had just as much fun doing that as we did anything. We're back there just ripping it up back and forth down the street on the golf carts. It was a blast. So this, this first pass, this is Eric Thiebert and Travis. If you watch this first one, you'll see Eric's car is fast. But then the second race, Travis completely cuts his head off on the tree. So take a look at this. Sitting here at Bragging Rights with this little punk. His shirt says Cart King, but we all know who the king is. Like I said, we're out in the back, we're testing, we're tuning, we're trying to get these carts dialed in. We're running these carts back and forth, trying to go get them charged back up because everybody wants to have max power at 100% to make their, their test and tunes on the strip that night. Well, they told us that we were gonna get to test and tune probably later, late that evening. Well, the rains come and everything gets shut down. That didn't stop us. We were out there testing in the rain like a bunch of idiots, which was hilarious because these golf carts are just sitting there just spinning these tires down the road, but it didn't matter. We were having a good time. Everybody was laughing. We were watching these carts. All the guys in the race cars were leaving. Not the golf cart guys. We're out back still just tearing it up. So we get to the next day. Now guys, we stayed out at the track all day from 10 o'clock that morning till almost 11 o'clock that night. We get up the next morning, they have the whole day scheduled for everybody. Of course, golf carts were the last thing on the docket. We didn't care because we were still gonna test and tune that day. We were still gonna try to dial it in as, as well as we could. Now, everybody made changes before the race, drivers were changed, Travis ended up driving the rail, I drove the full drive cart, and Steven actually drove Cart King's blue cart which is kind of funny because they all gave us crap because the full drive cart has two motors, two controllers, and two 70 volt batteries. But it also has a 300 pound, six foot tall, extremely attractive driver versus a guy that weighs a buck 45 dripping wet holding a 10 pound bag. I mean, they were like, oh, you've got twin motors. I'm like, I've got shoes that weigh more than this dude. Like, get real. Anyway, all of this is going on. It's about 30 minutes before we race. And then the promoter of the race, who's a buddy of ours, comes over and he goes, they're not gonna let y'all race. Excuse me, say what? Uh, yeah, they are. I flew all the way from Texas and people came all the way from Canada just to drag race. So what ends up happening is the track manager of the House of Hook, pretty much told us that golf carts were a joke and they had no business running on his track. Now, luckily, the owner of the track liked us. And it was, I felt bad for the guy. He had just bought this track. He didn't want to go against his manager, but at the end of the day, he was like, you guys paid, you guys came from all kinds of places, y'all get to run. So no test passes were made on the track. We literally had to run our race at the end while they're announcing all the winners from the cars. Like nobody was watching us. We're trying to race. They've got people announcing stuff in the back. Like it, it was a true shit show. Uh, I felt bad for Nate, the promoter, 
I was really pissed at the track manager. Like I wanted to drag him out and beat him within an inch of his life. They wouldn't let me do that. But we still got to race. We still had fun. <sighs> yeah, that was that was kind of the big drama. This is Barry Hall of Cart King Barry. Do you want to tell us why you're so angry tonight? I'm tired. Barry, why do you hate golf carts modified so much? Is it Travis? I know it's Travis. It's fine. No, it's not. Those are my boys. Oh. Everybody except you. Whatever. I was on Texas Metal, fool. Everybody loves me. Who is your favorite golf carts modified? Dude, you might Travis. Have, thank you. You might as well make out with Curtis at this point. You don't, you don't want to don't lie to the people, man. Tell them the truth. Travis. I mean, he was only on Texas Metal for like 10 seconds. <laughs> You can get a lot done in 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can. <laughs> Stefan Laprade, who's your favorite golf carts modified person? Oh, is this true? Nope. No, is that true? No, Teddy. Myself. Oh. Himself. He does answer almost all the phone calls because I'm, I'm tired of answering calls. I'll let him do it now. He's good at it. He's, he might be better than I am. Todd, out of all the people with golf carts modified, who's the biggest pain in the ass? Oh shit. It's gotta be you, right? Oh. Dude, everybody knows it's Travis, man. What the hell? Look, people, they they get on camera, they just start, you know, act like they've never been on the camera before. This is the story. Ah, uh, deer in the headlights. Right? Yeah, deer in the headlights. I don't know why everybody says me. Everybody knows that Travis is the biggest thing. I mean, easily, hands down. Okay, if you ever call Golf Cars Modified and I'm like, I don't know the answer to that, that's who I said you to, because he's way smarter than I am. That's Ron Manns. He's like the second or third smartest Navitas guy. And I only say second or third because Leroy's probably number one. And I'm scared of Eric Thieber, so. <laughs> He's probably lying because his lips are moving. But, I mean, he might not be. Hold on. There's Angry Barry. Angry Barry. He's always mad. Thank no, because he, he, he did this to us. Yeah, it's his fault. We're here. I just flew Barry. all the way from Houston. And I don't even get to race. It's don't Barry's fault. To Barry about what he meant to go to. Barry's like, you should come out here. It's gonna be great. We're going to the house of Hook. Oh, by the way, you're effed because you're not gonna get to race. Barry. Try to look at this time slip from mine and Steven's race. Now, yes, you can say I was running a cart with twin motor, twin controllers, and twin 70 volt batteries, but your boy weighs 310 pounds. Steven weighs 150 pounds dripping wet. Now, he did cut my head off on the tree. His 187 re reaction time to my 393 was pretty bad. His 60 foot was way faster than mine, but if you look at the 330 at the end of the track, I actually ran a faster time. So Steven won because he beat me to the light and he got the win. Okay, so this last race is between the cart that Corey built, which we call the root beer cart and Waylon. Two different setups. You're talking a 72 volt bolt battery versus an eco battery setup, an AC motor controller versus a CPEX motor controller, uh, a club car, custom built club car DS versus a custom built easy go. Uh, if I had to say any specific things about the cart, Corey's cart was probably way lighter, but Wayland's had a longer track uh, wheelbase. So, you know, they were both nice carts. 
they were both fast carts. But that cart that Corey built was, is straight up would fly. Uh, I think him and Eric Thiebert would have been a really good race. Now, I will say this, this there's a lot that we kind of knew and a lot more that we learned. Uh, the guys give me a hard time. If we'd have been racing an eighth mile, the four wheel drive cart would have smoked most of them. I think Corey might've, might've beat the four wheel drive cart, maybe. But, you know, the carts with the taller tires on them were mile per hour a lot higher on the back end of the track. Uh, we were running a full like 28 inch slick on the dual or on the uh, full drive cart. Corey had a big 20 inch Hoosier on the back of his. Uh, Barry's blue cart, as fast as it was, was on 18s all the way around. If Barry would have had a taller tire in the back, that cart would have been a lot faster. Wayland's cart had a really tall tire in the back. And this is some of the stuff that we learned this year. Now, drag racing golf carts, yes. Could we have built stuff that was way faster than what we did? I'm sure we could, but everybody tried to stay under, you know, 72 or at least under a, an 80 volt resting voltage. Uh, could you build a golf cart that was a lot faster? Yeah, I mean, you could build a custom lithium, lithium pack and you could go get a, a big, huge custom controller made and a custom racing motor. Like you could easily get a golf cart into the 100 mile per hour range. Uh, Corey's cart with the right gear setup on 72 volts would run almost 61 miles an hour. Now guys, that's cooking on a golf cart. Uh, I'm not so sure I want to go over 65 on an electric golf cart with no cage. It seems real sketch to me, but I'm sure one of us will get there one day. Uh, this was a lot of fun. We had a blast doing this. And it was just being with all of the golf cart people. Would it have been a lot funner had we got to actually make passes down the track? Absolutely. But that got me thinking. There's, we have got to set up something to where we can start doing this more often and more than just once a year and more than just on the East Coast. Like we need to figure out how to get this either in Texas or Louisiana or Mississippi. Hell, I even drive to Alabama, I don't care. But we need to start getting people from around the golf cart community in different states and maybe having like our own state race. And then we go bust the people's ass in other states. It'd be Texas versus North Carolina or Louisiana versus Florida or Alabama. Alabama, nobody wants to race y'all. Okay, so y'all don't, don't worry about it. Anyway, we had a blast. I wish I would have got more video. We were real busy. You know, always seems to be my biggest failure when I go to this kind of stuff is we get caught up doing so much stuff that I never have time to film. Uh, if you have any questions on any of the stuff we did, you know, shoot us a message. You can always call us on our, if you go to our website, our phone number's on there, give us a shout. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully we get some more videos out. I've got some carts I've got to finish building. You know, like right now though, I gotta get caught up on cables. I was gone for seven days and I don't even know how many cable kits I'm on, so. Got the Osteen special versus the Wayland Cox special.
just to let y'all know, I love golf carts, but I hate flying. That might be the first of five or six shots of Patron. Go modify.